Welcome to Spotlight on Migraine, hosted by the Association of Migraine Disorders. Join us for fresh perspectives by medical experts and advocates as we explore the spectrum of migraine and dig deeper into this complex disease. In this episode, Dr. Cedric O'Gorman from Axome Therapeutics reports on efficacy and safety data for their pipeline acute medication AXS07, which is a combination of the NSAID meloxicam and rizotriptan. Good morning. My name is Dr. Cedric O'Gorman, and I'm Senior Vice President of Clinical Development and Medical Affairs at Axome Therapeutics. Today, I will be presenting the results of the Phase 3 Momentum trial, which evaluated the efficacy and safety of AXS07, Axome's novel oral multi-mechanistic investigational medicine for the acute treatment of migraine in patients with a history of inadequate response to prior acute migraine treatments. The seriousness of migraine is underappreciated. The World Health Organization classifies severe migraine attacks among the most disabling illnesses comparable to dementia, quadriplegia, and active psychosis. Migraine damages family life, social life, and employment. A significant percentage of patients experience inadequate response to current acute migraine treatments, and this suboptimal treatment has serious consequences as large-scale studies show that in addition to the debilitating pain, it can lead to increased progression from episodic to chronic migraine. There is therefore an urgent need for new treatments that provide improved efficacy for the serious neurological disease. AXS07 is a novel oral rapidly absorbed multi-mechanistic investigational medicine for the acute treatment of migraine consisting of mosaic meloxicam and rizotriptan. AXS07 is thought to act by inhibiting CGRP release reversing CGRP-mediated vasodilation and inhibiting neuroinflammation, pain signal transmission, and central sensitization. Axome's mosaic technology significantly increases the speed of absorption of the meloxicam component after oral administration while maintaining a long plasma half-life. The momentum or maximizing outcomes in treating acute migraine study was a phase three randomized double-blind multi-center active and placebo controlled trial to assess the efficacy and safety of AXS07 in the acute treatment of moderate and severe migraine in adults. Only migraine sufferers with a history of inadequate response to prior acute migraine treatments as assessed by the Migraine Treatment Optimization Questionnaire or MTOC4 were enrolled. A total of 1,594 subjects were randomized in a two to two to two to one ratio to receive a single dose of AXS07, mosaic meloxicam, rizotriptan, or placebo following a qualifying migraine of moderate or severe intensity. The co-primary endpoints of the study were pain freedom at two hours and freedom from the patient's most bothersome migraine associated symptom, photophobia, nausea, or phonophobia at two hours for AXS07 as compared to placebo. The key secondary endpoint to establish component contribution was sustained pain freedom from two to 24 hours after dosing for AXS07 as compared to rizotriptan and mosaic meloxicam. Shown here are the key inclusion criteria in addition to a history of inadequate response to prior acute migraine treatments, eligible patients were required uh, to have an average of two to eight moderate or severe migraine attacks per month. The baseline characteristic, the baseline demographics and clinical characteristics of the Momentum study population are shown on this slide. Overall, demographics and baseline characteristics were consistent across Groups. Importantly, approximately 40% of patients uh, described prior tryptin use. The characteristics of the patients enrolled reflect a population with very difficult to treat migraine. The mean MTOC4 score was 3.6 out of a maximum of 8, reflecting patients who are categorized as poor responders to acute uh, to prior acute migraine treatments. In addition to a history of inadequate response, enrolled patients exhibited a high rate of characteristics that are strongly associated with poor treatment outcomes, including cutaneous allodynia, which was seen in 75% of patients, severe migraine pain intensity, which was seen in 41% of patients, 
obesity, which was seen in 43.4%, and morning migraine seen in 36.4%. Of note, a greater percentage of patients in the AXS07 group had cutaneous allodynia and severe migraine pain as compared to the rizotriptan group. Now to the efficacy results. On the first co-primary endpoint of pain freedom at two hours, a statistically significantly greater proportion of patients treated with AXS07 were pain-free as compared to placebo, 19.9% versus 6.7% respectively for a placebo-adjusted difference of 13.2% and a p-value of less than 0.001. On the second co-primary endpoint, of freedom from the patient's most bothersome migraine-associated symptom, a statistically significantly greater proportion of patients treated with AXS07 were free of their most bothersome symptom at two hours as compared to placebo, 36.9% versus 24.4% respectively for a placebo-adjusted difference of 12.5% and with a p-value of 0.002. On the key secondary endpoint of sustained pain freedom from 2 to 24 hours, evaluated in order to establish component contribution, a statistically significantly greater proportion of patients treated with AXS07 had sustained pain freedom as compared to rizotriptan and mosaic meloxicam, 16.1% for AXS07 versus 11.2% for rizotriptan, with a p-value of 0.038 versus 8.8% with mosaic meloxicam with a p-value of 0.001. AXS07 was also statistically significant versus placebo on this measure with a p-value of less than 0.001. AXS07 provided substantial and rapid relief of migraine pain as shown on this slide. The percentage of patients achieving pain relief with AXS07 was numerically greater than with rizotriptan uh, at every time point, every time point starting at 15 minutes and statistically significant by 60 minutes. This performance over rizotriptan is significant since rizotriptan is widely recognized as the fastest acting and one of the most potent uh, effective oral triptans. This slide shows the pain freedom rates over time starting two hours after dosing. XS07 resulted in a consistently greater proportion of patients experiencing pain freedom compared to all comparators with the benefit provided by AXS07 increasing over time. AXS07 de demonstrated statistical significant superiority over rizotriptan on multiple secondary outcome measures in addition to rapid one hour pain relief, sustained pain relief and sustained pain freedom as shown on the prior slides. These efficacy benefits of AXS07 translated into statistically significant less use of rescue medication with AXS07 as compared to rizotriptan, with only 23% of AXS07 treated patients requiring the use of rescue medication after one single dose of study medication versus 35% of rizotriptan patients with a p-value of less than 0.001. AXSO7 was also superior to rizotriptan on the patient global impression of change or PGIC scale with a p-value of 0.022. The therapeutic benefits of AXSO7 translated into important functional advantages with a statistically significantly greater proportion of patients treated with AXSO7 returning to normal functioning at 24 hours as compared to those treated with rizotriptan with a p-value of 0.027. AXS07 was safe and well tolerated in this study. The most commonly reported adverse events with AXS07, nausea, dizziness, and somnolence, none of which occurred at a rate greater than placebo or greater than 3%. There was one serious adverse event of miscarriage that occurred in the AXS07 arm, which was deemed non-treatment related. In summary, in the phase three momentum trial, treatment with AXS07 resulted in rapid, sustained, substantial, and statistically significant efficacy as compared to rizotriptan and placebo in the acute treatment of migraine in patients with a history of the 
inadequate response to prior treatments. AXSO7 met the co-primary endpoints of pain freedom and freedom from most bothersome symptoms at two hours compared to placebo. The low placebo response for pain freedom at two hours, 6.7%, reflects the difficult to treat patient population this study aimed to enroll. Statistically significant superiority of AXSO7 over rizotriptan was observed for pain freedom at one hour, sustained pain freedom, and sustained pain relief. These efficacy benefits of AXSO7 translated into statistically significantly better patient global assessment of response, greater return to normal functioning, and significantly reduced rescue medication use for AXSO7 treated patients as compared to those with rizotriptan. AXSO7 was generally safe and well tolerated in this study. In conclusion, the multi-mechanistic approach of AXSO7 was, uh, may represent a novel treatment for patients that is superior to current standard of care. The enhanced efficacy of AXSO7 may be especially relevant for patients with more difficult to treat migraine. Thank you for tuning into Spotlight on Migraine. For more information on migraine disease, please visit migrainedisorders.org.